one problem about uh, and being an NGO not having the kind of resources like a foundation for example is that you are dependent on funding from donors and uh, donor funding is never certain so one has to be careful about expanding to a level where donor funding is no longer available and suddenly you have to s scale back your programs which is very difficult and creates problems of confidence within the organization but if you have been able to develop um, you know, funding sources, resource mobilization within the organization, then of course it gives you the kind of confidence that even if donor funding were not available, you'll still be able to sustain in a significant way uh, over the next few years. So I think um, sustainability issues are important for scaling up. I think donors also like the idea that the organization is not totally dependent on them. And they also like the idea that if the organization itself contributes to a program, they feel happier to contribute to it rather than totally funding a program themselves. Uh, so that's uh, important. Brax budget, uh, the, about 20% is financed by bilateral donors and multilateral donors, but the other 80% is generated within the country. And most of it actually comes from poor people. The biggest chunk comes from service charge for our microfinance program. Uh, almost 50% of the, of the funds actually come from them. And the rest of it comes from our businesses that we do. And also the service charge for various services that we provide to poor people. Microfinance, we started in 1974. But initially our lending, uh, credit and savings work was collective. We came to individual lending in 1978. In our microfinance program, we have got about 4 million borrowers. Historically, we have been receiving more than 98% um, of our money back. We are very cost conscious. We are also looking at surpluses created by our enterprises. There is a market perspective in everything including in even in development programs, you'll find that there is uh, thinking about whether we want to do this at this cost or something alternative at that cost. These are being looked at all the time. We have service charge uh, in BRAC for various services that we provide. Uh, so our extension workers who go and supervise these vegetable gardens provide them service in terms of supplying of seeds and things like that, giving them advice what kind of fertilizer they should use. So it's a small sum of money, but we feel that the services we provide, if it is completely free, that they will not value the service so much. If we charge something, then of course we make our worker also accountable to the person who is being provided some service. Uh, we also have a small service charge for poor people coming to see our doctor. If it was completely free, then the, then the doctor would not be held responsible for uh, good um, practice. If they pay something, then they will demand better service from the doctor. So that's how we, we look at it. We do um, allow everybody to come into the health center. For our group members who are poor people, they pay a small fee of 10 taka to see a doctor and get medicine. But then if you are an outsider and can pay more, you are charged 20 taka. We found that almost uh, 60 to 80 percent of our costs are recovered from fees. So we are still looking for a 100 percent cost recovery in our uh, community health centers. Once we have attained that, then of course we don't need to uh, put in more money or seek more funding from donors and so on. Then we can go on expanding and then provide better service. I think. Um, ultimate goal would be to become self-financing so that we are not dependent on donors at all. But I think in the foreseeable future I see that uh, the donor money will be needed and we will probably continue to have 10 to 20 percent of our funding from donors. I also think that there is an advantage of having some donors available for funding our programs. I think one good thing about donor funding is that the donors do bring in uh, expertise 
And I think the debate and discussions between experts coming from donor side together with our people, sometimes there is a learning, cross-learning happens. So it's, it's, it's a good discussion and debate that takes place which, which enriches our program. We have a number of commercial ventures. We are trying to develop profits, but the profit itself goes into either education or healthcare or something. So profit doesn't go to anybody else. The idea is not only to serve these people, but also to generate an income which ultimately will support BRAC's development activities. We have uh, something like 200,000 women who borrow money from us to buy cows and many of them you know find it difficult to sell milk and so we set up this dairy plant so that th their milk could be collected and we could uh, market it in towns and they could get a fair price for their milk. We are collecting milk from particularly depressed areas where milk prices are low because nobody is buying their milk so we have got about 20 to 30 centers all over the country where we, we are collecting milk from and then we bring them to Dhaka and we have pasteurized milk, we have yogurt, we have got chocolate milk and we have all kinds of other products with mango milk and so on. And we are also setting up a powder milk plant. The reason is your cows produce more milk during the winter than in the summertime when almost a quarter of Bangladesh goes under water. So you don't have much grassland available. So. Uh, in these months, you can collect more milk than you can sell to customers. So during the scarce months, you can then mix it with uh, milk and produce more milk. But then we also look at uh, the, the whole question of the breed of cows that we have in Bangladesh. They seem to be very emaciated, producing very little milk. So we have been looking at improving breeds of cows. So we have got artificial insemination program going on. We have got about 1,000 centers. What I'd like to see in the next 10 to 15 years, Bangladesh's cow breed is going to be quite different from what it is today.